So now it's time to zest a couple of the lemons and juice them. And I'm gonna put them into the risotto. So I take my half of lemon. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Mm. Yeah, this is so And so at this point, what you have to do is stir frequently until the moisture is absorbed into the rice. I'll say it will be done in about five more minutes. All it needs now is a little bit of salt and pepper, some cream, and the Parmesan cheese. And then I think what I'm gonna do is garnish this with um, some broccoli. So good. I think I'm going to add in the lemon juice. And a little bit more stock. The rice still has a little bit of snap to it and what I'm wanting it to do is to get a little bit more tender. So this is called a lemon parmesan cheese risotto. And if you were here, you could smell all of the lemon, lemon, the lemonliness. I guess how that's how you say it. You can smell all the lemons in it. It's, it's so nice. It really is. It's so nice. It really is. I think I'll show you. Yeah. Soon it'll be time to add in the parmesan and the lemon zest. Okay, I think I should do another little taste test. Mmm. This is the best. This is the best. 
Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more broth to it. So far, I've put a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter in here. I say a little bit of um, about four slices of butter and a little bit of olive oil. Then I put onions and garlic, sauteed it for about two minutes. Then I added the rice to let the rice toast for about two or three minutes. Then I added in um, the vegetable stock. So now it's time to plate the dish. Everything is done. I taste tested it. Now it's done. So creamy. So I went ahead and I steamed these broccoli spears. I steamed them in olive oil. The broccoli is going to be the garnish to the dish because, you know, I need to have balance to it. So I added some vegetables to it that will make it turn out really bomb. So now I'm going to put a little bit more lemon, lemon zest, and I'm done.